All right, the Federal Reserve concluded its policy meeting yesterday, and CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger is here to tell us what happened and what to expect in the coming months. Welcome. Thank you. All right, so what did they decide? I think what they were doing is basically they're like, okay, we're not going to do anything. Now, who do you have in this bracket? I think it may have been an <laughs> NCAA thing. So the reason we knew that there was going to probably be no action mm -hmm. was that the Federal Reserve officials had run around, given speeches, and said, ah, we don't think the inflation data has been a little bit hotter than we would like. So, you know, listen, we have been at five and a quarter to five and a half percent in the federal funds rate since July. So it's interesting also because the Fed does understand that they've done a good job pushing down the inflation rate, but it's still not where they want it to be. You mm. know, we're over 3%. They want it to be closer to 2%. Yeah. So this was a meeting where they sort of said, hang on, we're going to do it, just not at this meeting. All right, so when can we expect them to start cutting? Well, Jerome Powell, who's the Fed mm -hmm. chair, has been kind of hinting like, any day now, uh. but it seems that when you read between the lines, it probably won't be at the May meeting, and it most likely could start at the June meeting. Now, at this meeting yesterday, the Federal Reserve releases economic projections and rate direction projections. So the Federal Reserve itself has penciled in that there will be a reduction of three quarters of a percentage point by the end of this year. So most investors are thinking, hey, it's probably a 50, 60 percent chance they start cutting rates in June. Maybe there'll be one quarter point in June and then two more by the end of the year, which brings us to 0.75 percent lower. Mm. So that would be good news, especially if you're a borrower. So how does the Fed view the economy right now? So beyond that interest rate, I think that what was more interesting about yesterday yesterday was the Fed is looking forward and saying they think 2024 is going to see a slowdown. Mm. Remember last year we were supposed to be in a recession? Yes. Never happened. The economy expanded by 3.1 percent. The Fed is looking ahead and saying it's probably going to be more like 2 percent growth this year. They expect the unemployment rate to drift up. Mm. So we're at 3.8 maybe to 4, 4.1 percent. Mm -hmm. And they also believe that the inflation rate, right, not prices, but the rate mm -hmm. of change will come down below 3%, probably to around 2.5% by the end of the year. And that would be great progress. But again, prices, and you're not crazy, prices are still about 20% higher than they were before the pandemic. So yeah. you're not crazy if you're like, prices are still high. Yes, they are. But that rate of increase is going to likely come down. All right. So I'm glad you told everyone they're not crazy because that is true. You're not crazy. You go in the stores. Yep. Jill, thank you for being here. Great Appreciate to be with it. You. And you can see Jill regularly on CBS Mornings and the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. For more analysis, go to JillOnMoney.com.